What's up, nerds and nerdettes, and we little nerdlings all? <laughs> it's your buddy, Big Johnny G for two. Gun Pixie presents Legendary Gaming. Tabletop Takeout Tuesday. We do an episode of this every single Tuesday, as my regulars know. We do a video every day of the week. We do multiple during the course of the full week, actually, up to 10 or 11 by the time it's over. But why do we do all these videos? Because I like it. I have fun. I have fun talking about games, playing games, videotaping games, editing those videos about games. Everything about this is absolutely fun. Which is why we are a non-monetized channel. We have no backers, no sponsors, no patrons, anything like that. I'm just here to have fun. If you enjoy gaming, then please give us a subscribe, throw us a like, and let us know that you believe in what we're doing here. But for right now, while I tell you what it is I believe that I enjoy and I like, the Argon Trail, the card game. Join me down the table, and I'll talk about it. I guess, first and foremost, to me, and anyone in my age category, this game probably speaks about nostalgic fun more than anything else. I remember the early days of computers and being introduced to this game and trying to figure out exactly how you're going to get to, of course, the, <laughs> the United States, of course, the old western frontier, without everyone dying of dysentery or a snake bite or something else. It, it was a crazy chaotic game. Made a lot of people pull the hair out of their heads, I think. But a few of us, not me, <laughs> were able to finish the game with at least somebody alive. Now, this card game is trying its best to recreate that original feeling. And I think it does a pretty good job. Just like the original computer game, this card game version of it is really about stress. <laughs> this, this is a very stressful game. Uh, just like the computer game was. But this this level of stress is realistic. And that's that's part of the core of the game is a lot of the realism of the hardships that everyone went through trying to move across the United States in the early days. This game does have a lot of educational value. It's not just pulling things out of its ass. Everything that can happen to you in the game is something that was common to be able to happen to the Wagoneers as they travel across the country. So that, that level of stress, which I do love in so many games, seems more fitting here because of the source material, I think, than any other stress-inducing board game I've ever played. You know, the first time I broke this game open and I got a chance to play it, I felt like I was booting up my old Commodore 64 to give this a run. <laughs> I did, uh, because everything in this game thematically is a perfect match to the original computer game, right down to the, the, the graphics of the game and the cards match those of the old computer. It, it looks just as much as it feels like the original source material that it's pulling from and trying its best to honor. Uh, I really appreciate that. Now, just like, just like the original computer game, I have to admit, I do actually find it really funny how everyone in your party is just dropping off like flies in the middle of, uh, of, of, of someone spraying the area. You know, they're just like falling, like raisins out of the air. <laughs> uh, does that make me morbid? I don't think so. There's probably other things that do, but not, <laughs> but not this for that. That's the way the game was designed. Again, it, everything about this game is keeping thematically a, a, a level of uh, near perfection based on the original game. So if, if you know the game, then you know exactly what I'm talking about if you know the original game. Just seeing some of the pictures that's been posting and hearing me talk about this, you can see that it does pull everything from the original game in a very beautiful and smooth fashion. Now the rules, the rules are easy enough to learn and to teach, and I believe that you can have this game on the table and playing it 
with new players that haven't played it before in a matter of minutes. It's not going to take you more than five or ten minutes just to give a quick overview of the rules. Everyone's going to understand it. And by that time, you'll have the entire table set up because that only takes a minute. So, bam, there you go. Easy rules, fast setup. And it comes in a small box. It's another thing I dig. Those three things together make it a very easy game to bring, to teach, to play. Sometimes, even on the fly. And there's more than enough flies out there in the heat of the Old West. Everything about this game was specifically designed for nostalgia, as I said at the beginning of this video. It pulls everything together in a way that if you... See, unfortunately, I think that if one does not know this game, it may not draw their attention. Even out of... Uh, Beyond nostalgia, you know, if someone has heard about this game, this game has become a legend about how how impossibly hard it was to, to win the game, that some people will find a challenge and will accept that challenge. They'll get to experience the game. They'll know what I'm talking about. But unfortunately, I, I, I'm afraid that this game does not get enough attention, that enough people don't know about it to ever bother giving it a shot. So whatever little voice I can give it to it, or anyone else can give to it, is, is definitely worth it. Because I think this game, it's as a, as a cheap market price, it's easily available, uh, like I said, easily carried in toy. Everything about this game, easy, easy, easy. Except, except winning it. That's never going to be easy. And that's part of the draw of the game. The allure of the game has always been that difficulty level that, it, that, that it's always had. I think if you're looking for the kind of game that you can carry with you, you can throw down, you can teach, or just the kind of game you want to have nostalgic fun with, please go check out more information on Oregon Trail, the card game. Maybe watch some playthroughs. We have at least one that I remember filming here on this channel. But I don't care if you watch it on this channel or someone else's channel. Just, just watch some playthrough videos of it, no matter who does it. Because that's the best way to determine if you're going to like a game. Don't listen to necessarily what floating heads are telling you about their opinions. You don't know if anyone has been bought, bribed, cajoled, forced, uh, you know, to do a video on the subject. You don't know. And I'm not claiming that they do. I'm just saying we don't know. But if you watch a playthrough, then you'll have a better, clearer, more honest opinion on whether you're going to like the game. So go. Get yourself some more information and find out if Argon Trail... It's a game you'll enjoy playing.